Let's now touch on some energy-related stories. And the chief executive for African Energy Consortium, Kwame Jantua, has taken a swipe at the government for not implementing measures to forestall dollarization of the economy. According to him, this is having a toll on the energy sector. Speaking to Joy Business at a workshop on quarterly tariff adjustment and net metering guidelines, he said the energy transition agenda may grind to a halt if the menace is not addressed. The chicken and egg situation, and as you see, where our, our, our electricity is concerned, the dollar plays a huge role in it. And the dollar plays a huge role in it primarily because of the IPPs that we have. Can we extricate that? I, I don't see how we're going to extricate ourselves of the dollar, not unless we have a policy where we de-dollarize our economy. If we are able to de-dollarize our economy, like some other countries have done, uh, South Africa for that matter, then maybe it will be possible. But we've, the situation we find ourselves in has shown us that we have to de-dollarize. We have to bring inflation down at all, at all points. We have to bring the cost of importation down. These factors contribute to the dollarization of our economy. If we don't de-dollarize de our economy, it becomes difficult because it, it, it feeds into our electricity generation. So it is something that we need to sit down collectively, not only as a government, but collectively bring everybody on the table and see how do we start that process of de-dollarization. And where we find ourselves today is it a huge advantage for us to say we need to do it. Because look, you go to some countries, you try to pay your hotel bill with dollar, they'll tell you it, it doesn't happen, go and change it. But it's also got to do with mindset. Because even in parliament, you hear them talk about, and it costs this X dollars, it costs this Y dollars. It doesn't help us. We need to have a conscious effort and we need to be serious about de-dollarization. De